Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about weakness break, more specifically inflicting weakness break with each element and the effect that each element has. Um, if you're unfamiliar, there are different effects for each element for when you break an enemy uh, with that element. Um, a good chunk of them are just regular uh, DOT, damage over time, but uh, there is some variation to them. So we're going to go over each of the seven elements and what each of them does when you uh, inflict weakness break with it on an enemy. Um, this isn't documented very well in the game, so that's why I want to uh, make this video. So none of these effects are like super crazy, but um, each element does have its own effect for when you inflict a weakness break on an enemy, so I feel like they are definitely worth noting. So first, we'll start with the regular DOT elements, which are going to be physical, fire, lightning, and wind. These four all do DOT for two turns to the enemy when you inflict weakness break. Now you're going to notice with some of these clips, as I'm showing them on screen, that um, sometimes uh, the pop-up will only say one turn that's because the sequence of actions that happen after i inflicted weakness break in the clip so i inspected the enemy's status as soon as i could but you'll notice that sometimes the dot triggers once before i'm able to even inspect the enemy so it'll say one turn remaining because it is already triggered once so one thing about these effects is that they work outside of fights as well so if you used uh, a weakness element on an enemy to trigger the fight and you shatter them going into the fight, it'll actually still apply this effect. So you'll see this on screen with the fire and the wind examples. So moving on to ice, it's kind of like a special DOT. It freezes the enemy and then they take damage for one turn. So kind of like a modified DOT where you have that um, trade-off of one turn of DOT for the freeze, so the frozen, and then they, they take damage as opposed to still being able to attack but taking two turns of damage. Next up we have quantum. And inflicting weakness break with quantum uh, delays the enemy's action and then they take damage on their next action. So yeah, rather than just being straight uh, quantum DOT, um, their action is delayed as well on top of just taking one instance of damage uh, next time they do something. Okay, so lastly we have imaginary. Inflicting weakness break with imaginary delays the enemy's action and reduces their speed. So keep in mind, imaginary is the only element that doesn't uh, inflict extra damage. So it it'll delay their action, they'll be stunned, reduce their speed, and then when they recover, they don't take an instance of imaginary damage, they just recover. All six of the other elements will do extra damage in some sort of way, whether it be DOT or like quantum when they take action, but uh, imaginary does not do that extra instance of damage. So that's it for the weakness break effects of each element. It's not super complex, but um, each element does have its own thing that it does when you inflict weakness break with that element. So I figured it'd be worth noting for each of them. I'm not sure what, uh, like for example, I'm not sure what the DOT scales off of. I don't know what the percentage is. Um, we just know that it does damage. Just to recap, the four main DOTs are physical, fire, lightning, and wind. That's bleed, burn, shock, wind shear. Ice is kind of like a special DOT where it freezes and then they take one turn damage on top of that. And then quantum delays their action. They take one instance of damage on their next action. And the imaginary will imprison them, delay their action, and reduce their speed, but will not do that extra instance of damage. So that's all I have. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked the video, consider subsribing. And also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv smexu, where I'm streaming the beta most nights of the week. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.